Welcome to Retire with Clarity. My name is Cynthia DeFazio and I'm joined today by Stuart Fields and Chris Massenberg, their managing partners of Open Air Advisors. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you both? Good Chris, morning. let me start with you. How are you today? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? Great, thank you so much. Thanks for asking. Stuart, how are you? Hey, I'm glad to be here. Me too, I'm yes. glad that you're here yes. because I know you've been so extremely busy. The television show has been doing so well for you. So thank you so much for taking the time to come in and do the show this week because there's such a need for the information that you provide. Most definitely. A lot of people in the viewing audience have questions about how to retire comfortably and with confidence. Chris, let me ask you a question. What are some of the most common questions that your clients are asking you that are coming in for the very first time that maybe have watched the television show? Uh, well, you know, the question I seem to get all the time is, uh, how much do I need to retire? Okay. You know, and I, I always give the same answer. What a loaded question, right? It's right. a different number for everyone, and everyone's circumstances are a little bit different. So it's very unique to you. Um, so that's the one I get all the time is, how much do I need to retire? Um, and then how much income can I take? Uh, when should I take Social Security? Those are just kind of a few of the hot buttons that people like to ask pretty consistently. Sure. Um, so, again, all of those things differ from person to person, you know. Uh, we talk about it all the time, that old commercial where people carry around their oh, yeah. number, you know, yeah. that was always funny. So sometimes they have a number in mind and they can't tell you why. Yeah. Right. So we like to sit down with everyone and go through all those different factors. But there's generally one part of a plan that somebody always struggles with or has as a priority of a question. And it usually is around, like I said, income and Social Security. So those mm -hmm. are kind of the two biggest pieces to retirement planning that I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah. Stuart, let me ask you a question. We've heard the terminology retirement income gap. Can you explain that and how that occurs? Yeah. Um, so that's literally good to what Chris just said. Yeah. I mean, when people want to retire, they say, can I afford to retire? Mm -hmm. And that is the, the proverbial million dollar question. Um, people say, well, my income may not support the lifestyle that I'm at. And so really what an income gap is, is basically the, the, the difference between a, your social security mm -hmm. um, and if you're lucky, maybe a pension. And mm -hmm. so like, well, I can't live off those two things. I must start taking some income from my other assets, sure. and which opens up Pandora's boxes. Well, which bucket do you actually start pulling that money from? Yeah. So you have to start looking at how do you solve for that income gap? Um, you just don't want to say, well, I've got an IRA, I've got a Roth IRA, I've got a non-qualified or an after-tax account. You know, too many times I see, well, I'm going to start with box number one. I'm going to take the difference from box one until it's depleted. Then I'll go to box two and box three. That's mm -hmm. a bad way to do it, sure. uh, but that's the easy way to do it. Um, do it yourself first, a lot of times might do that, uh, but primarily a lot of a lot of advisors do it themselves too because mm -hmm. they're so busy. Of course. You know, they're trying to do other things and they, they will, you know, Bob needs money for the next three months. I've got six meetings today. I'm not, he, he doesn't have enough time to sit down. So here at Open Air, we will sit down with you and find out where that income will come from, which mm -hmm. bucket to take it from. And it won't be the same bucket, you know, every every month or every quarter. Um, it could be, but okay. again, it definitely needs to look at, you need to solve for that income gap and appropriately take that money from the, from the correct spot. So basically, diversified streams of income really are required for the retirement years. Would you say that's true, Chris? Yeah, absolutely, because um, it all has an impact too. One thing we talk about with our clients and you know, new prospective clients coming in is taxes. Yeah. And so when we're talking about where to take the money from, it's not only what type of account, because the different tax implications, sure. but also the different types of investment assets. You know, are we pulling that money uh, from a cash bucket, from bonds, from stocks and equities? You know, where are mm -hmm. we pulling that money from? Mm -hmm. uh, again, because of the tax implications and the overall risk. You know, if you take too much money out of your safer assets, then you're overweighted in the risky assets. So it has to be a good balance. Sure. And that's that's where we really come in. And it, going back to uh, why plans are so important. Mm -hmm. You know, Stuart kind of mentioned this here, but you know, as advisors, we we help lots of clients and we meet with prospective clients. So, you know, days days are taken up going through that process, but that's why it's so important to have a plan that's written because all that strategy goes into the plan and so instead of rehashing it every time, yeah. you're going back to these plans and saying, okay, well, do we need to adjust this plan? Perfect. You get a great baseline mm -hmm. and then you adjust as needed. So that's how it kind of all plays together. 
And I love that you say that adjust as needed because it's definitely, it's almost like a living, breathing organism because you put a plan in place for someone, but then all of a sudden something happens. Like let's say back in 2020, a lot of people maybe were forced into retirement a little earlier than they thought or adult children moving back in. So the plan is something that you help adjust based on your client's needs, correct, Stuart? For sure, it's, yeah. it's, it's I love that. It's, it's a living, breathing microorganism, uh, organism, and that's mm -hmm. exactly what it's doing. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it, things are changing surprises uh, not only in your personal life but you know what's happening um, everywhere around you um, that has a huge effect so what we really do and what we really like to do for our clients is, is communicate with them is talk to them as much as we possibly can um, you know some events um, a lot of people spend a lot of time doing a financial plan and I think a financial plan sometimes is a, is a crutch because financial plans if you read the, the disclaimers are, are based off a lot of assumptions and projections but if your assets aren't performing and matching up those, those projections, it's worthless. And yeah. so what our jobs are to do is really look at the plan, compare it to basically reality and making sure the projections, the assumption that we've made in this really comprehensive plan is, is meeting the expectations of the performance. So mm -hmm. uh, that's really important when it comes to kind of bringing everything together and what's what's on paper and what's reality. So bringing those things together is really, really important um, okay. in what we do. Okay, and of course, John is not with us this week, but the three of you together, you're all licensed fiduciaries. Let's talk about the importance of that in case someone in the viewing audience doesn't understand what that means. Chris, can you explain what that is? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it means essentially we, as fiduciaries, put clients' interests ahead of our own, ahead of our companies, and so, you know, really, in my mind, uh, whenever you go and you meet with a financial advisor, it shouldn't be a situation where you're questioning the recommendation. Sure. Right, so an advisor recommends you buy XYZ products or investments, and this is why you should do it. You don't question their method because they're a fiduciary. They have to put your your interest ahead of their own. Sure. Uh, and so that's why we all made that decision a long time ago to go that route. Mm. Um, and it, it should help clients or prospective clients feel at ease knowing that that person has that obligation as a fiduciary to do what's in their best interest, not not the advisor's own or their companies. Sure, and so it's the same advice that you would <coughs> give your family member Absolutely. is what you're giving your clients, and that provides such peace of mind to the viewers, I'm sure. This is the perfect time for us to open up the phone lines for the very first time this week. Would you gentlemen agree? Absolutely. Okay. To the viewers at home, if you have questions about how to retire comfortably and with peace of mind, we're offering you a very special offer this week, a complimentary portfolio review. To the first 10 callers, all you have to do is call 844-333-6. 6059. You've worked your entire lives to retire comfortably. You should be able to do so with peace of mind. And if you have any questions about where you currently are on your path for retirement, these gentlemen have the answers for you. Again, to the first 10 callers only, all you have to do is call 844-333-6059. We'll be right back after this very short commercial break. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only to set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. This is a $999 value that we're giving away complimentary to the first 10 people who respond. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you wanna go? And who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no-obligation, full-blown financial review today. 
Welcome back to Retire with Clarity. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Stuart Fields and Chris Massenberg, their managing partners of Open Air Advisors. Gentlemen, a great first segment that we had, and obviously going to the phone lines, I can gauge that because they were already lighting up even before we were going to the commercial break as they saw the number on the screen. So obviously there's a lot of questions that people have in the viewing audience. I know a big one right now would be planning for taxes, and we've talked about the difference between tax preparation and tax planning, and you specialize in the tax planning area. So Stuart, let me ask you a question. A lot of people out there right now that are considering perhaps a Roth conversion, is that something that's easy to do? Um, easy, I'm not sure if I would say the word easy, but with the right tools, um, it's it can, c can be clear sometimes whether or not you should do one or whether you shouldn't do one. So we like to spend a lot of time, and we've been doing a lot of analysis right now on Roth conversions because with the current tax code ex uh, set to expire at the end of 2025, you know, we're in the lowest tax bracket that we've seen in a long, long time. I mean, you've got to go mm -hmm. back 60, 7, 80, maybe even 100 years to see tax rates as low as they are right now. Sure. So a lot of people are saying, well, should I go ahead and rip the Band-Aid off? Should I go ahead and... and and pay some taxes now, will I have a future benefit? And the funny and the, and the answer is it depends. Everyone right. is completely different. If you start looking at our, our tax brackets, what you'll see is you'll start seeing kind of a barbell starting to form. You see the higher incomes are paying a little bit higher taxes and the lower side is kind of going a little bit lower. And we might see that going in the future. And because there's a big jump between the 24% tax bracket and the 32% tax bracket, but mm. the rest are kind of close together. So the answer, why did, why did I say that? It really depends okay. on, on, and if it's easy, I don't think it's a very hard thing to do, but what happens is, is you need to know what their income's like, you need to know about their legacy, their beneficiaries, their income needs, okay. and what they're currently making. And so if you have the information, putting things together, and seeing the answer, if it's yes or no, is, is something I enjoy doing. I don't think it's the hardest thing to do, but you, once you have the, the information in place, I think it's something that's pretty straightforward, and I'm confident in telling the client, yes, you should do it, Roth conversion or no, you shouldn't do a conversion. Uh, but I always work with their tax preparer, whether it's themselves or whether that's with a CPA, um, to do some projections. So just to make sure that mm. the CPA isn't seeing something that, that I haven't saw and vice versa. So okay. really having that open experience makes it our jobs a little bit easier. So keeping the lines of communication open is so important between the CPA and yourselves because that way you can get a true comprehensive picture of what's really going on and advise the client in the right direction. Do a lot of your clients ask for a second opinion on tax returns? You know, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so they always, you know, a lot of questions too. When we start doing a really good tax planning, they say, Stuart, I've, I thought I had one. I always yeah. ask them what your tax plan is and what do you think the number one answer is? I don't have one, right. and so when we start putting one in place, it's kind of funny because they ask me, well, can I go backwards? Um, and the answer is, most of the time you can, certain things. Mm -hmm. So that's when having that really good communication because they go, what if I did it this way last year and the year before and things like that? It really stimulates a lot of thoughts, and then they'll mm -hmm. pick up the phone and talk and, and call their CPA and say, hey, can I do this? The, sometimes the answer is yes, sometimes it's no, but uh, when they really see what effective tax planning can do, it can really open um, some really good ideas, both forward planning and, and a little bit of limitation going backwards, but sometimes it's also possible to kind of fix some of the mistakes you've made in the past. Okay. Chris, are you getting a lot of questions about using life insurance as tax-free cash value, if you will? Um, you know, I would say that I get more questions uh, when it comes to life insurance based on uh, legacy planning. Okay. You know, um, I want to make sure there's a benefit left behind for someone. Okay. Or even uh, long-term care is something that comes up quite a bit. Okay. Um, so sometimes we look at um, if a person can get a life insurance policy that also has a long-term care component, so sure. kind of a dual policy. Um, it's just, it's, it's something that makes you feel good if something yeah. happens, you know, break of in case of emergency. Uh, that's, that's typically what we see or what I see on the life insurance side. Sure. Um, not so much cash, cash value planning. Okay. And yeah. it makes sense when you put it in that um, aspect, if you will, because so many people when they're approaching retirement, we've heard this a lot, that they feel that Medicare is going to cover their long-term care expenses, but that's not always true, Stuart, correct? No. Uh, on average, it only covers about half of the expected wow, cost. half. So, and especially for people that actually have done a really good job and they've saved a, a decent amount of assets, they say, well, my goal is to retire at 55. Mm. And they go, well, I've, got, I've saved really, really well. What they don't 
count as health care costs between age 55 or 60 or 62 to when Medicare actually kicks in. Mm. So um, it could be very costly, you know, maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year in those years that they didn't even account for. Wow. So it, it can be very, very expensive. So if we retiring early and, and we know that and we have a, a good goal. I mean, there's other things that you can do to kind of cover that. We talked about the income income gap earlier, yes. but you know, there's a gap in Medicare and, and actual true expenses. So there's mm. a couple of things like HSAs so that we can start looking at or other assets that we can start making sure are in place to cover unexpected medical expenses. Mm. So that is one part of the puzzle that is most overlooked, I would say, is, is for early retirement. And even people who retire at 65, sure. they think Medicare is gonna cover everything. And, and and like I said, on average, only about half the time is that truly the case. Wow, all right, that's very important yeah. to know. So when you're designing a very comprehensive retirement plan for someone, let's break down the pieces and parts. Obviously, we've talked about tax planning, we've talked about health care, long-term care. What am I missing? Inflation, perhaps? Absolutely, inflation has to be factored in. Okay. Um, and it's it's been fairly low for quite some time. Um, and it's anticipated it would stay pretty low for the next couple of years. Um, but you still have to plan for that long term mm -hmm. um, if, because if you're not earning enough on your actual investments, uh, inflation will eat away at those uh, overall real rates of returns sure. uh, over time. And uh, so you absolutely have to include it in the plan and it, you have to have an adjustable rate as well. You know, a lot of times when we do plans or we see plans, they have a fixed assumption of inflation. It makes a lot of sense if you can to try and have an adjustable rate that, that will vary over time. Okay. Um, we can't just assume it's gonna be flat or really low for a long time. Okay. 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 Anything else am I missing, Stuart, in that plan? Well, you've got the big part. You've got the investment management. You've got there the you assets. Go. Um, you know, and, and generally when people come into our office, that's what they think they're going to talk about. And we, we do talk about it, but that's not the whole picture. So mm -hmm. I think we've done a good job today talking about the other things that are most overlooked mm -hmm. because those, that matters almost just as important as the performance. How do you invest? Sure. Uh, because there's three phases when it comes to, to, to planning. Accumulation preservation and distribution. And so people, I feel like, are masters at the accumulation phase. They're sure. really good at it. Um, that first job out of school or whenever they had that first job, they were saving tons of money and they were, yeah. and that was the easy part. And then what I see for the most, of, most of the time is they skip the preservation phase because they didn't really know what you're supposed to do there or didn't yeah. know it was different. And then I meet them at the distribution phase. Okay. And so how you set the investments up, the assets, is, is totally different. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've got volatility, we've got changes. Um, you know, one of the big portfolio killers is taking income you know, from a portfolio that's going down. So we oh, have to yeah. have things in place to have that protection, have that safety net in place. Um, or otherwise, the things that we've talked about for the first half of the show might not matter. So yeah. investment management is super important in making sure that, you know, we have a safety net. We have a place that you can take that income from. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that's really important to, to make sure that that's that's the foundation of, of a lot of the plans that we've talked about so Absolutely. far today. And if I could just add to that, it was a great point. The uh, the phases of retirement, we yeah. all start out, and to Stuart's point, you know, you start saving early. Yeah. Um, most people out there, because pensions are few and far between these days, sure. have options to put money away in a 401k. And a lot of times people do it, but don't know why, and mm -hmm. don't know how to manage that. Sure. And so you save all these years leading up to retirement, and then you, you decide on that date, hey, I'm marking X's on the calendar, this is the day I'm gonna retire, yeah. I'm 65, I did it, now what? Yeah. Right. How do I take this big chunk of assets I've saved over my life and turn it into this income machine yes. to pay me out so I can live the way I want to live, the lifestyle I want to have, yeah. and it's going to last me throughout my life. Absolutely. 25, 30 years is a long time if you think about it. It is. To live on one pot of money, if you will, uh, <clears throat> especially if you don't know how to preserve it or manage it in such a way that it pays you that paycheck that you're going to lose. Absolutely. Well, gentlemen, this is the perfect time for us to reopen the phone lines to the viewers at home. Would you agree? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. To the viewers at home, the phone lines are once again now open. That number to call is 844-333-6059. We know you have a lot of questions on how to retire comfortably and to make sure that you have the proper plan in place. What you're being offered today is a complimentary portfolio review. The number to call is 844 
833-6059. This is available to the first 10 callers only, so please don't make this don't miss this opportunity. The number to call is 844-333-6059. We'll be right back after this very short commercial break. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. Yeah. Welcome back to Retire with Clarity. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Stuart Fields and Chris Massenberg, their managing partners of Open Air Advisors. Gentlemen, a great show that we're having, and I love that you're offering the complimentary portfolio review, and let's talk about why that's so important. Do you have a lot of clients that come in that are surprised to know, Chris, how much risk they're actually taking in their portfolio? Yeah, I would say I get a fair amount of uh, folks that are surprised. Um, you know, people tend to think of things in just a couple of different buckets. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I'm very conservative or I'm very aggressive um, and they don't really know in between where they should land or they have an idea of how much risk they want to take when it may not even be in their best interests. Okay. You know, they might end up being too conservative. And like we talked about earlier on the show, if, if you don't grow that money over time, it's not going to last as long in some cases. So right. you would hate to run out and actually being too conservative, that brings that risk into play. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can actually have it too conservative and maybe not make enough return to outpace inflation or to overall make that money last as long as you need it to. And then the opposite is true as well. If you're too aggressive at the wrong time, yeah. you know, let's say you retire in 2020, um, uh, you didn't know you were gonna sit around at home for, for months on sure. end, right? Sure. Um, but it was a bad year for a couple of months there when this whole thing started. You know, what if you were just retired, you were taking income from your portfolio, you didn't know how much risk you had, now you're at a much lower base, but you still need that income. Yeah. So that could put you in a really bad spot. So all, all of those things have to work together. And that's why that review, uh, this complimentary review that we're offering, is kind of the first piece. Let's find out where you yeah. sit now and if there's changes that need to be made, and then we can adjust the plan accordingly. Okay, so, all right, thank yeah. you, Chris. Well, Stuart, are there also hidden fees sometimes in portfolios that you uncover for people that they had no idea what they were even paying? Yeah, um, there's actually four types of fees inside of a portfolio. Most people are most familiar with the, 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 the advisor fee. What are, what, are, what, am I, what are you charging me? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so people are like, well, I'm paying 1%, I'm paying 1.5%, I'm paying half percent. Well, that's just one of the four types of, of fees. So the other fee that is probably most common is what's called an expense ratio. So when you're starting using portfolios, they have managers. Um, what we're really proud about is we use third-party managers, and so they have their full teams that are, are um, looking at screens, analysis. They're, they're doing the stock picking, they're, and we're communicating with them, how do we put this puzzle together? Okay. Those people don't work for free, so that's called an expense ratio. And so just to throw some numbers out there, you can see some as, as low as 0 0.05 of a percent all the way up to one and a half percent on addition to what they're paying the advisor. Wow. So type three is basically uh, trade cost. Okay. You know, there, there's, uh, you know when, you, when you trade a position, that's gonna cost money. And the fourth type of fee is custodian cost, whether mm -hmm. using Fidelity, Vanguard, things like that. There's a lot of uh, 
custodians who charge you um, a fee to be on their platform. So there's not just, you need to ask your advisor, what is my overall all in expense? Um, and that's really the answer because, okay. you know, on, on a lot of occasions, the advisor fee is only just, you know, a fraction of what the, the entire client is paying for. And you said hidden because it's hidden. No one knows yeah. to ask those questions. So those are the four things you need to sit down with, uh, with your existing advisor or anybody saying, talk to me about the all-in fees, the overall fees of our portfolio, because um, generally or not, you're gonna have at least three of those four that I mentioned. Okay, because without <laughs> uncovering those hidden fees, they're almost like financial termites, aren't they? They're kind of eating away at the portfolio until it's too late, then you don't even realize that they were even there. Chris, Absolutely. would that be true? Absolutely, that's, that's a great analogy, uh, financial termites, because they do, they do erode and eat away at the overall return and assets, at least they can, mm -hmm. um, and Stuart made a great point that uh, you know, we talked earlier about being fiduciaries, mm -hmm. and part of that process is the upfront disclosure sure. of fees. And so this kind of really plays into what we're talking about is because as an investor, you wanna know what all you're paying to have your portfolio managed and work with this advisor, and to Stuart's point, you just don't know what questions you're not asking. Sure. So having a relationship with a financial advisor who's a fiduciary has your own interest, has your interests ahead of their own is required to disclose those things up front. So okay. that gives you a little bit of peace of mind so you know see the full picture. Sure, yeah. absolutely. Stu, we only have a couple <clears throat> minutes left in our show this week, but how important is it for someone to get a second opinion on a portfolio that they have right now? Perhaps they're working with an advisor that they've been with for years and they think they're in a great place, but in your opinion, how important is it to have a second look, if you will? I think it's a must. In this day and age, it's it's a must. Um, Part of our, you know, complimentary portfolio review or analysis is to see how the assets are currently um, set up. And you'd be shocked when we basically run this report and we show them how correlated their current assets are to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, how one thing reacts positively, the entire portfolio operates uh, and reacts the same, and vice versa. So that's could be really detrimental to a portfolio when everything is moving in correlation with one another to the broader markets. That's very okay. dangerous for a retiree. Um, you know, the first five years up to retirement, five years after retirement, make up 80% of your success. So right mm -hmm. now with this movement, you have to get that, that second opinion um, and, and find out, you know, how exposed to market movements are you really and are you jeopardizing your retirement? Absolutely, because there can't be anything more <laughs> frightening than someone who's in their retirement years and they think that they're okay, but only to wake up in the morning and realize, right. oh my gosh, I've lost half of everything. So again, it's priceless what you're offering yeah. the viewing audience today. Absolutely, and there's there's plenty of people out there, I'm sure, that have advisors or people yeah. they've worked with over the years. And so a lot of times, not I wouldn't say a lot, but sometimes I get people come in that think that I'm going to look at their position and say, oh, this is absolutely terrible. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Who are you working with? And that's not the case. <laughs> it's not the case. If you woke up one morning and your Thank knee hurt. Thank you knee so hurt, much. We're almost yeah. out of time. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to ahead, hold that thought sorry, for next ahead. week. Yes. <laughs> Thank you both so much. To the viewers at home, thank you for spending time with us again this week. The number to call is 844-333-6059. Be safe, be happy, be blessed. We'll see you back here again next week. Thank <laughs> you.